To be a tech soccer player, it, it means to be disciplined and working really hard in everything. It means always giving 100%, no matter if you are tired, if you are having a bad day, you go to the field and you give your 100%. by Manning, still the possession for the Golden Eagles, now Manning a This year, senior year for me, has been pretty exciting. I've been able to play more and be able to exploit my strengths a lot more. I've been able to grow more as a player and as a person. I've been able to use what I've learned from in the past to really help these other players grow, and I think that they can use me as an example, like, Starting out, it may not be what you think, but as long as you continue to work and prove yourself, it will come through time. So I think that's like a big thing for me as well. I've just been able to really use what I've learned from the past and be able to play and have a lot of fun with it. I would say my most memorable game is our freshman year when we beat Alabama 2-1. That was pretty hype. Uh, one of the favorite memories I have is that we won against Alabama my freshman year. Proud moment. Now I know that beating a team that plays in the SEC is huge, but I didn't know that at that time. I remember I was thinking, like, why everybody is so excited? Like, we just won another game. But yeah, uh, actually, yeah, I didn't know. I had no clue what was going on. For me, I was just excited because we played against another Spaniard, but that's it. <laughs> soccer players, probably the game-winning goal that Nora scored off of my pass um, against Jacksonville State. This attack again gets possession off the deflection. Trying to be aggressive, this big shot there, nothing on goal. Oh, oh wow, what a goal, that was a hard, hard hit. Coming to Tech has helped me grow um, a lot on and off the field. Um, I think every coach on the team helped me in a different way. Um, I think we had a good communication. What I'm going to take out of this experience is mostly the relationships that I've built. I think that's what I'm going to appreciate the most. Um, and of course, I developed as a player a lot too with all the individual practices and games and of course losses I think the most I've learned from the most but yeah I think the relationships are the most important thing that I'm going to take out of this experience. I learned to be stronger 
than the situation I was in, uh, to be resilient, um, keep pushing myself and never give up. You get caught in the moment a lot and you forget to think about and realize what you have to bring to the table. I think a lot of times people compare themselves to others and it's all about creating your own identity and being your own person and I think that's huge. Like you learn a lot about yourself especially when you face adversity. Playing here at Tech, I'm going to miss just like the environment, being here with the team, being out here, forget about stress around, um, forget about school, forget about issues at home or just like friendship wise. Just enjoy soccer and have like a team who stands behind you and like will always be there for you. So, funniest memories, I kind of have a lot. Our freshman year, we had to like work a 5K or something, and the seniors just kind of told us to go somewhere, and we didn't really know where we were, because I'd only lived in Cookville for like three days. And I ended up following someone else, and we ended up in the race, like with the racers in our cars, and I had to back down like where outdoor world or experiences the entire um, the entire street reversed and I was like backing in lines and it was just horrible and Steve had to come and the police were called and it was just very embarrassing. Also one time before weights um, I was really tired and we were almost late like it was like 5.50 in the morning like we had to get there and I was backing up and wasn't paying attention and I did tap an ROTC car but we didn't have time to really stop so we stopped to make sure there was no damage and then we ran away and I couldn't drive to weights for like a whole month because the ROTC people were like out to get me. Uh, we got locked out of the locker room and Hootie climbed on top of the roof and tried to get us out like I mean get us into the locker room. Was I supposed to say this? <laughs> I don't even I don't think Steve knows that but yeah that was probably the funniest moment uh, here at Tech for me. In freshman year when we've all got here, me and Molly let Kari drive her car one time and when we say she has a metal foot, like she really does, her starts and stops were made us all fear for our lives. During practice I threw a ball against Mackenzie like into her face. That was <laughs> not really like it was really funny. And I did this again with KP so <laughs> I kind of think I have like, I like throwing balls against people's faces. Another one, we do individuals and one time a ball, I did it with Mackenzie McLeod, she graduated last year, a ball hit my inner thigh and Corey described the sound as meaty. So I will never forget that. Also like last spring we were scrimmaging and the field was kind of wet and I was running to get a ball and cross it in and completely slipped and ate it into a pile of leaves. It was like pulling leaves out of my teeth and everywhere else imaginable. Um, I don't really know how to say this, but just the UT Martin trip in general was a pretty good one. Just you guys know what I'm talking about. And that's it. <laughs>
Nice move by Manny. Down to 10 seconds, it's a goal! Unbelievable, Myra Taraga Manzanel, wow! Hey seniors, I hope you enjoy your night and you don't cry all your makeup off, especially Cory. <laughs> Let me start with a couple of uh, good memories. Okay. Myra, we made so many good memories together, but I want to mention one. Uh, when we were heading to Nashville and we lost our car via, and it was kind of scary, but it was funny when Julia fixed it, his, fixed the car. I'm really sad that we cannot be on the field together anymore, doing individuals or 5v2, practicing, making each other or playing in, during games. I know you will come back stronger after your injury and because you are an amazing player and you need to be on the field to show everybody your love for, for this sport. I will miss you, Myra. Uh, Myra, um... Barcelona was just amazing. I wanted to say that first because it was honestly one of the best places to visit and your home was just beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna miss watching you play on the field. You know, it was tough this season for you. I get it. You went through a terrible thing and you, you're striving through it now. You're working better, you're getting stronger and you're a really strong person for that. And I saw you grow and everything, but watching you play has been great and you're gonna move on and do great things too. And I can't wait to watch you move on and do well. I'm gonna miss you a lot, I'm gonna miss you a lot. Myra, I love you so much, you're always so cute, we're always giving hugs. Uh, one of my favorite memories was, I'm not sure exactly what game it was, but you were at half, you got the ball, and then you went around one person, then you went around the next person, then the next, and you actually dribbled around the entire team and scored a goal, like no one had to do anything. I was on the field, I was standing there, because you could just go around every single pair. Um, you're such an amazing soccer player and it was a huge loss this season without you, um, but I wish you good luck in your future. I swear my heart broke two times on the field this season and that was when Myra got hurt and when Tina got hurt and that absolutely crushed me and I'm sure it crushed them just as much. Um, you know, playing behind the two of them for the past two years has been really a blessing and I was really looking forward to having one more year with them and it's been hard for all of us to accept that they wouldn't be on the field with us this year, but we play every game as hard as we can and we hope we make you guys proud. Tina, you, have, you were my first real roommate. I'm not going to count the first one. <laughs> you were my first real roommate. Um, you're awesome. You're just an all-around great person, such a great leader. and. Um, awesome captain. Um, you know, you were there for me through my injury and through my ACL, and I'm going to be there for you for yours. You know, it's, it was tough watching you go down, and I know it sucks, but you're going to come back stronger than ever. You know, it's, it's going to be a journey, but you can do it. I know you can. You're really strong. And I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see you grow and see you get stronger as a person as well. I'm going to miss you. Tina gonna miss you as my lifting partner next year gonna have to lift with someone else and that makes me really sad um, you were a lot stronger than me but thanks for sinking down to my level on the bench press um, Tina from enemies we became teammates and then roommates and then friends how crazy is that we are neighbors in Europe but we met in Kukuya uh, I can't thank tech enough that uh, 
I can have a really good friend here and you're my best friend here and you're one of the few people I can trust. I will miss you. All right, Tina, <laughs> one of my favorite memories with you is when we went to uh, Windows Club with Nora, Rach, and Brady. Um, it was probably 100 degrees and little did Tina know that we had to walk through probably nine or 11 uh, creeks and she's wearing running shoes, socks, leggings, and a hoodie in 100 degree weather. <laughs> so that's probably one of my favorite memories, but I'll miss you so much. I'll miss our laughs and our talks, and um, I wish you all the best in your surgery, and you're extremely courageous. I know last week we were having a talk, um, and someone was telling you their problems because um, people can confide in you. And they're saying, I don't know what to do. And you were like, you know what, just go up to them. Just go up to them and talk to them. Tell them your problems. And both of us said, Tina, like not everyone is courageous as you or brave as you. Um, but I really respect that. You're able to go up to anyone um, and you're extremely personable. Um, and I have a lot of respect for you and I'll miss you a lot. Molly, I just can't forget all the 400s we were running after the AMP, AMP classes and before our fit classes during uh, spring. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm gonna miss those 400s running with you. You are so inspiring, and uh, you are a person who is easy to look up to. Molly, gonna miss playing behind you. Can always count on you to win a ball when I don't want to. <laughs> Molly, you're my roomie. Um, I always miss running together, and you, you always push me so much in the spring and in the fall. Um, I'll miss grinding through A&P with you, it's a really tough class um, and I'll definitely miss you in the middle heading every single ball because everyone knows my heading skills so I'm really happy that you're glad to save our butts every single time. Molly, okay, you're my, this is my favorite one, okay, um, so I think my favorite memory of you is uh, after every game, Jim Dillon <laughs> seems to always get two or three <laughs> pictures of you after you had the ball, and let me tell you, it looks a little, a little gone. I'll just show you. <laughs> but, you know, it, you look great. And I'm gonna miss those pictures. I'm gonna miss seeing you. You, you grew a lot this four years that you are here, and it was such a, like, cool thing to see you grow. and. You're just a great role model as well, a good captain, and I'm gonna miss you next year, especially the, the heading pictures, but I'll miss you as well. My first memory with Courtney was um, we were in the training room and Becca texted me that I need to go to take some English test, and I had no idea. Of course, I was late. So Courtney had me to get there. We were running together to find the building where I have to take the English test. And um, Courtney was talking with me, that, but I couldn't understand anything. Um, sorry, Courtney. Um, but for sure, she is the best person to sit next to in the locker room. She's always clean. There is no mess. And uh, sometimes she's sitting on my seat, but it's OK. She's the only person who I let to sit on my chair. I will miss you, Courtney. And if anyone says the word perseverance, the first thing that comes to my mind is Courtney. No matter what comes in her path, whether it be family, school, anything, uh, she grinds through it. And she's been through a lot and she keeps working as hard as she possibly can, um, building up her playing time, building up her fitness. She's such a hard worker and I love having her as my roommate, someone to talk to. I'll miss you so much and you're going to be an amazing nurse. Courtney, I'm going to miss you a ton. Um, Always running next to you in the fitness, um, coming to you with all my nursing problems. I could, couldn't even count on both hands how many times we've cried to each other about school and soccer and life. So it's going to be really weird next year. I'm going to be calling you a lot to talk about those things. Um, soccer would suck without you. And I'm thankful to have you as a roommate and a best friend. One of my favorite memories with Courtney was last spring when we were playing like a little small sided game and the ball was go going out of bounds and Courtney sprinted down the field to get to it and she slid and she kept the ball in and the ball went this way and Courtney kept going this, this way and went head first into a huge pile of leaves and we thought we lost her for a second. 
Never seen Adam laugh that hard, or Corey. Gordy, uh, so my favorite memory is just being in the training room through my ACL. You know, you're always there, you're always <laughs> making faces, cheer me on during rehab, and you're always just there to support me, and you're a very, very supporting person. I, I've never seen someone care so much about others, you know, always getting presents for everyone, you're always getting presents for everyone, so you're a very caring person, and it's gonna, it's gonna be tough without you next year, and you're gonna be a great nurse, too. Kari, I'm going to miss you a lot. Um, probably 90% of the time when I get the ball on the field, I turn around and immediately look to pass it to you. Even when Steve's yelling at me to play it forward, all I want to do is turn around and pass it to you. So it's going to be really weird not having you in the net. Ah! Kari, you surprise me every day on the field and outside the field. I feel closer to you every day and your little bird. And I'm glad to be your um, teammate and roommate. I, saw, I, I have so much fun with you uh, during warm-ups. Last game, I was probably three feet away from the goal line, and I saw the ball going in. Like, I didn't even have time to react. It was just going in in slow motion. All of a sudden, I see your arm coming across, and like I knew it, I knew it was going in. Like, you weren't getting there in time. All of a sudden, boom, your arm saves it. And I was like, oh, I, I had no words. Like, you are seriously such an amazing keeper. And I was like, uh. Good job, Kari. And it just happens every single game. You always make amazing saves, and that's why you have the record for Tennessee Tech for most shutouts and for OVC. It's gonna suck not practicing with you. You know, you've been kind of a role model for me, and um, practicing with you stepped my game up, stepped your game up, and it was just so much fun. It's gonna be really, really different without you, and you know, it's it's gonna be weird, but. Um, I'm looking forward to watching you move on and watching you do well in your next level and you're going to do great. I know it. I'm so proud of what you've done here. Bueno, cariño, como te ha dicho papá, eh, han sido unos años un poco duros. Eh, ¿Te acuerdas cuando me dijiste voy a jugar a fútbol y yo de, no lo veía claro porque nunca me había gustado y luego te seguía a todos los sitios? Siento que no terminé como te hubiera gustado debido a esta lesión. Pero bueno, eh, seguro que esta lesión te hace más fuerte porque te, también se aprende fuera del campo. Y no sé qué más decir, Nada. cariño. Eh, Mucho... Seguro que cuando vuelves eh, estarás todavía más fuerte. Bueno, cariño, te queremos y disfruta todo lo que puedas de este día. Hasta luego, nos vemos pronto en tu próxima graduación. Muchos besos. Muchos besos, cariño. Hola, cariño. Cuando veas este vídeo, estarás a punto de conseguir ya lo que has estado luchando durante estos cuatro, durante estos cuatro años. Eh, ha sido momentos difíciles tanto para ti como para nosotros, pero ya están pasados. Ahora te fuiste hecha una niña donde ibas todos los domingos conmigo a los partidos de fútbol y ahora te vuelves hecha una mujer con toda una carrera acabada. Muchos, muchos besos. There's just one more thing I want to say, team. My scooter will be on sale soon, so line up for it. It's all yours. It's been real, guys. <laughs>